Hey everyone, um, my name is Kelly Miller. I am one of the children's directors here at Forest Hills. I work with the elementary age students um, and I am bringing you today's daily spiritual check-in for April 23rd. So um, just to kind of think back, Easter was a couple of Sundays ago and I think we've all talked about how this Easter looked completely different than any Easter we've ever experienced. Um, and when we celebrate Easter, we celebrate the fact that Jesus came to be our Savior. We celebrate that He died on the cross for our sins, and then He came back to life. He conquered death. Um, Jesus' life, His death, and his resurrection changed the way everything worked, including the way that we see others and the way that we treat others. So the Apostle Paul wrote about that in a letter that he wrote to a church in um, a town called Philippi. And that letter is known as the book of Philippians. Um, Paul was writing to the people in that town of Philippi who were followers of Christ. So let's listen to what Paul wrote. I'm reading to you from Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 through 8. It says this, Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Did you notice that in that letter that Paul wrote that he refers back to the example of Jesus? He said that we should look at the ways that Jesus showed humility. And humility is putting others' needs ahead of your own. Um, so how can we show humility and humble ourselves during this time? Um, right now we are all stuck in this um, weird position of social distancing and we're being you know pretty much stuck at home with quarantine so how can we um, put others first during this time how can we be the church to the people around us when we're told that we're supposed to stay at least six feet apart um, one of the things that we've been doing in kids ministry we have kind of set up a pen pal program um, and the goal for that was to connect kids to some older adults who may live alone, who um, may be feeling isolated during this time. Um, we wanted kids to have the um, chance to just write notes of encouragement and to share the love of Christ with whoever was receiving their letter. Um, if you have received a letter from a child um, who is your new pen pal, I hope you've had a chance to reach out to them and write them back. Um, you know, kids love to get mail. <laughs> so another way we could put others first is um, maybe if you are going to the store, you could reach out to your friends or neighbors and see if there's anyone who can't get out who might need you to pick something up for them from the store. Um, I think about single parents. You know, they, they really shouldn't be taking their kids into the store. But if you're going, you could call and say, hey, you know, I'm running to Kroger. Is there anything I can get for you? Um, that would be a way to put others first. Um, and so as we continue to try and figure out um, how to be the church to others during this time, we can remember that passage in Philippians. The passage that we read from Philippians reminds us to put others first because Jesus put us first. Jesus put us first when he died on the cross for our sins. That was a punishment that he did not deserve. And when we remember the sacrifice that he made for us, I pray that we will remember how important it is that we follow 
the example that Jesus set for us by putting others first. I hope you guys have a great day, and don't forget, we're in this together. Bye.